to. Man, this is an eerie look. I know it's too far away for the camera to see anyway. But Mount Rainier is very eerie looking right there. <coughs> and even, pardon me, and even more eerie is Mount St. Helen sitting out there. It's just a silhouette of it. She almost looks black, like all the hills caught on fire and it's just charred. I know, uh, I mean, to me, it's just sitting here plain as day, but super view right there. You see that it's the highest point out there. Very eerie looking. But anyway, the reason I decided to take a little stroll on the iron. I need to ride the DR. It's been a long time since I rode it. But yesterday was the uh, second anniversary of the old iron. Two years ago yesterday, I drove the iron home. 27th of June. Today's the 28th, obviously. So I, uh, I was busy doing other things yesterday and, and it actually ended up being too late when I, uh, when it dawned on me, I went, oh no. Kelly's like, what? And I said, today's the second anniversary, the iron second anniversary or second birthday, but it wouldn't be his birthday. I guess the birthday would be whenever it was built. But. So I guess it would be more like an anniversary. But uh, anyway, she, uh, it was still, you know, it was, it was dusk. But man, you go out that time of night and you just get plastered with bugs. The bugs, they just love seeing a headlight coming down the road and just go oof, zero in on you. So in celebration of its two year anniversary, one of the one of the first places I took the old iron was on the whole road loop, so I thought I'd just goof off, loop through there, and I I'll go check out the, the uh, salmon hatchery right quick, which is just right down the road. had to look to see if one of the baffles or both the baffles were gone I don't I don't know what happened on that last ride to uh, to work that I did Mon last Monday which was what the 22nd or something like that but man when I got to Vancouver I thought man this thing's loud the, the old packing must have been must have been near its end and, and uh finally gave up the ghost on the ride to work but it's noticeably louder it still sounds well excuse me it still sounds fine but even Kelly was standing there as so I was about to take off holding her ears this thing's not that loud so I need to see what the mileage was when I uh, installed the exhaust and get an idea and uh, I have to slip them baffles out and repack them again because uh, if it loses all the packing, it's gonna, well, there's enough room in there that the mapping will adjust, but it's gonna sway me uh, one side or the other towards the limit. Ideally you, want, ideally, you want your mapping to be right in the center. That way for altitude, you know, temperatures, and humidity and everything else, it'll, uh, it has a lot of room to, to move. I got my little mirror too and I make sure I don't have bugs in here. I can see a reflection in the dash. What do I have for miles on this thing? 66 
658. Wow, that's crazy. I actually have uh, have more more miles on the Road King now. So it's got. Well, when I put gas in, it had 67.24. So add a few miles to that to get from the gas station to home. But I'm not sure which gas station. I'm pretty sure it was the one in, in Toledo. So we got a few extra miles on her. It's weird when you do that because the exhaust is all on the right side. It has a different sound when you sway one way to the other. So somebody cut that road down through there last year. And I'm assuming there's maybe a house or something down there. Oh, look, this house is for sale. That's actually kind of a cool house sitting on that hill like that. Got a nice shed and stuff there. Boy, tell me no land. Got that little tiny yard and a cliff down to the Cowlitz River behind there. It is a cool place, though. get up and it geez it was like seven o'clock it was already 72 and uh sun's a beaming and next thing i know just kind of wasn't so bright anymore and i'm like i look out it's kind of hazy looking out there all of a sudden the temperature started winding backwards all of a sudden next thing i know it was like 66 degrees and i'm like jeez that's cold turned all the fans off and when I get out there and start doing the lawn work there's a bunch of thundering and banging and carrying on zero chance of rain it just lightly lightly sprinkled a couple of times but uh, a whole bunch of carrying on going on the <laughs> excuse me that cold front sweeping on top of this nice hot surface air you know you guys in the south know what that does but uh anyway by the time i get out there i was mowing lawn and doing some general lawn maintenance gets up to about 85 and the humidity was like the dang south man it was thick as thieves they old sticky hot
of you guys that were were excited about the uh, Electric Glide Ultra Limited. I I think I'm pretty much pretty much to the point. I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna back away on it. I, I think I think selling that Road King. I would miss that thing too much and I'm not gonna come up with the I'm not gonna put that much down and then you end up with this extra payment you know on top of the road king the extra insurance and uh, plus I you know I'm not a wealthy person throwing that kind of money down is you know taken away from the old proverbial nest egg you know that's just just not a wise thing I don't I don't think you know somebody offered me a really good price on the road road king I had a guy offered me 10 grand for it last winter and I wouldn't take it but uh ooh, that river's looking nice got the old fishermen and people out there roaming around. But I watch them as though somebody back a trailer in to pick up a boat and run me over. Hey, you guys from the south, look at our funky pine trees we have here. They're northern pines around here. They got little short needles on them. It's a pine tree, but it's a northern pine. They never get that nice lush green that uh that the pine trees in the south get. Well, maybe we'll buzz down to the other fish hatchery. I won't bore you with the drive on that one. Because I I really I don't have a damn thing to talk about. I was just gonna say happy anniversary to the old iron and, and go from there. Oh shit, parking. It's probably gonna turn in down there anyway. Oh yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna buzz down here a little bit, and I'll go to the uh, to the other hatchery, which is just a couple miles up. So uh, I'll pop back on them when I get there. I'll be right back in a flash, literally. So see you here in a sec. Well, hello there, YouTube. I have made it to the fish hatchery. Well, no, I'm not at it, but the salmon hatchery. But uh weird when I first clicked the thing that time was 555 thank goodness there's no way for it to be I just oh no I'm getting hit with rain I was about to say them clouds oh no I cannot get wet I have no place to even put my GoPro <laughs> you know that could actually that could be a substantial rain cloud right there. I mean, I have nothing. I have no back. Oh, it's going to rain. Well, we're not going to that fish hatchery. I was looking at that going, that looks pretty threatening. Son of a gun, I have no place to put my GoPro or nothing. Oh no! The old, the old road, the iron, it's only... I've never ridden it in the rain. I literally have never ridden it in the rain. I've taken off and the roads were wet from a rain, which is about as bad, which... She's never been ridden in the rain. I'm trying to think if I've ever been caught. No, I've never been caught in the rain on this thing. So, uh, there's how you welcome your, uh, your second anniversary. Oh, come on. I can't get rained on. Oh, oh I, I can't hell. I'm being rained on right now. Because 
this is that that blackout case and uh, it's all sealed up except for uh, I augered a hole the same size as the uh, skeleton case or yeah is that right yeah skeleton case so that my 90 degree uh, mic would fit in there mic adapter oh shit I was gonna order a couple more of those things for the trip I ordered a whole bunch of stuff yesterday for the Yosemite trip you probably got a weird angle because I'm I'm squatting you're probably just seeing the speedo going down the road here I have no rain gear fingerless gloves I'm trying to find that six gear that's never there. I'm telling you, if Harley would put a six gear in a, in a little 883, it would it would make these things fantastic. And put that same transmission in the uh, 1200s. Oh yeah. I love the gearing for riding down the road on the 1200s. But first gear is, is like damn near second on this one. And uh, you realize how tall first gear is on a 1200 if you ever get stuck in uh, stop and go traffic. Your, uh, your left arm will, will look like Popeye. This rain is not letting up either. side of my GoPro to try to keep rain from, you know, Murphy's Law. A drop of rain will just go bloop, perfect right in that hole and, you know, jump inside the damn uh, HDMI port or something, you know. I hope the, oh, I can't see the lens. I can't get a good enough. Oh yeah, you got raindrops on here. You're probably going, wipe that sucker off, smoke. let go of the uh well I probably may I probably smeared if I if I wiped it wouldn't I there is that better zero percent chance of rain today <laughs> yeah I'm gonna wear out the shift D10 trying to find six gear in this thing After you've been riding down the freeway for a while, it, it seems fine, but when you're goofing off, it always always seems like there needs to be that, that one extra gear. Shit, and I'm, I got a ways to go, and the, the bad thing is I got to go into Toledo and head right back up the Cowlitz again, on the other side. stretch of road once again so uh two things happy second anniversary for the for the old uh road king here and there's a high likelihood i'm gonna keep the road king and not buy the ultra what i've seen and after a long conversation with a very nice follower um i uh and then talking with my wife a little bit in the wee hours of the night, sitting outside on the porch. I think I'm just gonna, for that type of bike, I would, I would prefer the street glide. I really do like the street glide. And uh, if I need to throw some kind of thing on the back that resembles a trunk, that's easy to do. You even got quick disconnects to do such a thing. But. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later on. I appreciate you guys taking the little spin on the iron on the second anniversary. Thanks for watching now. Take care. Bye-bye now.